Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today we visited the Traveler Restaurant in Union, Connecticut. Here's what we learned in our adventure. Nestled off of I-84 just by the Massachusetts state line, the Traveler Restaurant's sign is visible to the thousands that drive by every day. Those that take the time to stop will find one of the more unique restaurants not just in New England, but anywhere. Upon entering the restaurant, you may be unsure if you've accidentally stumbled into a used bookstore. In a way, you have. The Traveler Restaurant is packed with used books in practically every corner. After getting past some of the books, you'll find a more traditional family-style restaurant, with good food and drinks for wary travelers. But the best part of your meal? It includes a free book from any of the shelves. Any book. Take a look around and pick your poison. It's all up for grabs. In case the selection in the dining room made you hungry to read more, the entire downstairs of the restaurant functions as a classic used bookstore, with shelves packed with everything ranging from the classics to Twilight. In the mid-80s, then-owner Marty Doyle, an avid reader, started bringing books into his restaurant as a way to thin his oversized collection and find new homes for old books. Under new ownership since 1993, the restaurant's books are now mostly donated by local area libraries and community members, and the take-home amount has been upped to three books per person. Whether you're looking for a meal and coffee while on the road, or just curious to see one of the most interesting restaurants around, the Traveler Restaurant cannot be beat. Have a great meal, then give yourself plenty of time to pour over their massive collection of books. Located at 1257 Buckley Highway in Union, Connecticut, the Traveler Restaurant is a little over an hour's drive from Boston. While it's a perfect stop for the middle of a road trip, it's a destination worthy of its own journey. Thank you for watching, and keep on adventuring.